Hey YouTube, figured I would upload a new video of this tank. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot that's changed. Just some of the previous generations of shrimp are starting to get to be juveniles now. They'll probably be breeding soon. And then I have a couple of the females that I kept in here that bred last time. There's one hiding back in there. You can see just how deep red she is. I haven't yet taken the less colorful males to the pet store to sell yet. Uh, I'll probably be doing that in a week or two. I always just pull the least colorful males and females out of the tank and uh, let the more colorful ones breed. So I'm kind of artificially selecting for the red, the redder shrimp. That's one of the better colored male shrimp in the tank right now. You can kind of see it's decently red, but it's not entirely red yet. Um, I just keep selecting them more and more. In here, the snails down in the in that gap between the light and the rock there. It's doing well. You can see that there's some algae growing up on the glass on top, but that's fine. It'll get eaten shortly. I also want to point out there's a lot of shrimp that like to hang out in this floating wisteria here. It tends to catch a couple particles of food, so they eat that. They also like this fake jellyfish here. I didn't know Wisteria would do this, but it has all of these little baby plants that bud off of the like two big ones in here. I uh, have to pluck them out every once in a while, but I'm just kind of letting it grow over the top. All the fish seem to like it. The nitrates stay really low with the Wisteria floating and this Java moss down here. And the fish seem to be really healthy no problems there I'm gonna be adding some Danios back in here shortly Now you can see the temperature. I have my heater set to about 77, 78, uh, and I keep my apartment about that same temperature, so the heaters don't really come on unless it gets really cold. Um, but we also have a hedgehog, and she has to have a relatively warm temperature too, so our apartment's generally warm enough that the tanks don't have to heat much. You can see there's some wisteria caught down in the moss there. I generally just let the shrimp eat it as it decays. But I'm just going to step back and you guys can watch the tank.
Thanks for watching.